Wezero Sindudugabru was born in a small town of Addis Alam in 1915, the eldest daughter of Kantiba Gabru Desta. As a young girl, her father Kantiba, Mayor Gabru Desta, a renowned diplomat and an intellectual, as well as her mother, Wezero Kasaya Yelemtu, had a big influence on her. Wezero Sindudu began school at the age of four at the Swedish Mission School and studied there until grade eight. In 1928, she left for Switzerland with her younger sister, Youb Dar Gabru, who later became a nun, Mahoy Tsuke Mariam Gabru, a renowned pianist and composer. Sinidou remained in Swiss until 1933, studying languages, history, geography, and law. She spoke many languages, including German, French, English, and Italian. After Sinidou returned to Ethiopia, she became a teacher. She first taught at the St. George School, a boys' school in Addis, that had a girls' section. She taught French, Amharic writings, and hygiene. When the Italian invasion began in 1935, her husband Lorenzo Tezas left the country with Emperor Haile Selassie. However, Wezaro Sinidou remained in Ethiopia and eventually joined the resistance against the Italians, the first woman to join the Black Lions, or the Kurambesa who were fighting under the leadership of Ras Amru Haile Selassie. Ras Amru, and they of course urged him to lead them, the resistance movement, the anti-fascist resistance movement. And when they first met up, you know, he tried to impress, this is what she tells me, he tried to impress on them the challenges ahead. His troops had been decimated, gas had been used really to wipe them out, poison gas. Uh, uh, but their enthusiasm and their high spirits at that point, I think, you know, he had seen the war, what it brought, the cruelty of the fascists, the poison gas. And he was trying to dissuade them, especially my mother, because she was a woman. The preparations have been made for you to join your husband and also to pursue your education in Paris at a later point. And she flatly refused, of course, to part with her comrades. And that's really a big moment of decision. In 1937, Sinidou, along with many of her compatriots, was captured when the Black Lions were cornered by the Italians and forced to lay down their arms. That surrender was to be a moment that she later stated was one of the greatest regrets of her life. She would have preferred to die fighting the occupying forces instead. Indeed, virtually all of the men captured that day were later executed in a single vengeful act by the fascist troops in retribution for the assassination attempt on Graziani. Amongst those executed was Wezero Sinidou's younger brother, Meshesha Gabru. Wezero Sinidou herself and the other women captured alongside her, including her sister Yaubdar, were imprisoned on the Italian island of Azinara, where they were to spend two years before being released and repatriated by their captors in 1939. Wezaro Sinidou was appointed director of a school in Desi, Wezaro Sehin School. But it was not long before she was called back to Addis to eventually lead the Etege Menen School. She was the first Ethiopian women's school director and headed the school for eight years. During this time, she used to encourage girls to aim for higher professions other than the usual female roles. yeah <laughs> Masaka 
ለሴቶች ገብተው እንዲማሩ እና ዘበኞች እዛ በር ላይ አንድ ሴቶች ልጆች እንዲ እንዲቆሙ ቢታዩ ግቡ ነው የሚሏቸው እና ገብተው ይጠይቃሉ እና ብዙ ጊዜ እሳቸው ጋር ይቀርባሉ አምናት ማሪም ለም ተማሪት አልከባሽም ብለው እየገፋፉ ነው የሚያስገቡት ችግር ካላችሁ ቤተሰቦቻችሁን ጥሩ ብለው ተረርተው እንዲማሩ አንድ አንድ ልጆች በወጡ ቁጥር ወይ ታጨቶ ምን ብሎ ይቀራሉ እነሱ ለሌላ ነገር ይቀርን ይመስላቸዋል ወዝሮ ሲነዱ ይገቡልናል ክፍል ደሞ እንደውም በሳምንት ሁለት ይገባሉ ደብዳቤ ጽፈ በሁለታችንም ደብዳቤ ጽፈንና ግባና የምጣ አመት እዚህ አንገኝ ምክንያቱም የምከፈለን የለም ክፍያ የለም ወላጆ የምን የምከፈሉን የሚረዱን በቃ ብለዋል እና እንዲያውቁ ብለን ሰጠን ይየፈራው የተንቀጠቀጥኩ ያን ይባላል ሀገር ነበር ቢሮ ወስጄ ሰጠው አነበበውኛ ይሄን ጉዳይ ያጠናል ወስቲ ቆይና እናንተ ተስፋ የምጣልባችሁ ልጆች ናችሁ በጭራሽ መሄድ አስፈልገም እና ክልጆች ወደ ቤታቸው ሲሄዱ ለ3 ወር እዝሁ ቆዩ ተነጋግረ እውጤቱን አገኛለሁ እስከ መስከረ ለክ ትምርት ቤት ሲከፈት ጉዳዩን ያን የታቃላችሁ ብሎ መጋቢውን ጠርቶ ገንዘብ እንዳትጠይቃችሁ አለ እሺ ያለ ዘው ከረም እንትናለ ተማሪ ቤት ሲከፈት ተፈቅዶላችሁ Writing was another passion of Waisa Rosinidu. While at Tege Menen School as an author, she wrote more than 10 books. Her writings include poetry, drama, and fiction. Rasacho betikaze ust hono weyim degmo and sew lemastamar yetelayu gutmochin le hibret sebu lemastamar yetsafut no yagenyew tsacho menegeruñ mikniyat allacho le tsafubet. Na lemisale sewna alam በሚለው ርዕስ ላይ የጻፈው ሰው ከንቱ መሆኑን ዓለም ደግሞ በዚች ሰፊ ዓለም ውስጥ የከንቱ ሰው መኖሩን ለማመልከት ልክ በጣም የሚደንቀው በሙዚቃ በበገና አስመልክተው ነው የጻፈው ሰው በገና ነው ሀዘን ሲያስለቅሰው ደስታ የሚያዘፍ ነው የመጪው መጫወቻ ነው ዓለም ቀለም የለው ነጭ ብርጭቆ ነው እንደ ስሜቱ የተከፋለት ጥቁር ሲሞላው የተደሰተለስ ቀይ የሚያደርገው እጅግ ደስ ባለው ሰዓት ይሆናል አዲስ ፍጥረት የተረጎማል ሁሉም በቅንነት ጣላቱን ይፈልጋል የሚያመሰግንበት አዝኖ ግን የተከፋለት ቀኑን ይለዋል ለሊት የታለና ይላል ወዳጅነት በሁሉም ላይ ያጣልምነት ሲቀባ ይውላል ፍጥረቱን ይህን ጥቁር ቀለሙን ሰው በገና ነው የመቸው መጫወቻ ነው Some of the writings were collected in 1950 under the title Yelbe Mazaf Book of My Heart which were social political and patriotic addresses She was married to Colonel Asafalema from whom she had three children In 1954 she won a seat in the first parliament making history by becoming one of the first two women parliamentarians During her time in parliament she took stands on women's issues her infuriating confrontational style won her enemies and admiration throughout the political circles she served as vice president of the parliament That was the first parliament that she was in and the second and uh, these parliaments were Uh, not exactly the same as the parliaments today you know so uh, nevertheless uh, people got up and spoke in them and people began to get used to the idea that you elect somebody and so on so she was involved in that she was one of the first people to be elected she wasn't appointed so uh, she, she was involved in the in a context where this was very unusual in fact um it is said that uh, on one occasion in parliament um uh, one one of the members a male uh called her ato senedu and she slapped him in in the parliament so uh you know she she wasn't having any of this uh 
idea that it's men only. If I have him be here in Hick, the Batakalam Minister of Makahinet, Lemkarbet Karbo, Bumin Makar Batvise, and Dankaslai, Menilal, Yemonoria Sufran, Balno Mimartoila. Such a Hedekar Kanakarachona, the lemon deno. Balnam is going to look to the macaron, the one do which our lemon deno, which our suddenly miss a tolo, touchu. Walla, Gide in a burrow, our one was at the brada. Menum the Saturnigger respond the Aragas la lebera. Walla, Menalo, I. Zare and Nante in Nagar, Yahunakar Batrekfu Kagizia Bohala, Bumakurbit Seto Chauk Sibazu, Na Hinegar Sarala in the moon, Tasfara Gallo. Below Tun Vita Nagronaber, Yuan Zusetuch, Baun Mukurbetum, Tagain to Al, Kamiasa de Nikayan do Nagar. You know, better of a balloon, the committee of the Raja on the Lila, but I'm Nukutasafi, the Satafi in a bow. But I'm Adan Kacho and Low, Slam Madan Kachom, Lijel in Dome Situallet, Senadu Yen on Lijisum, Senadu Yat Lechuna, but I'm in Midden Nukuset and Acho, Nusuhisti Pavinacho, Lager the Mo, but I'm in Miasu. Luckily, I chose my own lager, and that has been my son of Bro. Scuzzy dress no mugach. After her term in Parliament was over, Weza Rosinidu took up other causes that were also near and dear to her, serving as the head of the Red Cross in Ethiopia for some time. She was one of the founding members of the very first Disabled Persons Association at around the same time. In 2005, Wezaro Sinidu was awarded an honorary PhD from Addis Ababa University in recognition of her outstanding achievements throughout her life and career. The Honorable Dr. Sinidu Gabru passed away on April 20th, 2009 at the age of 94. Tullem lecturacho. And visionary in the home, so film and dinoro in the ark, the Zimagambat, Tinish Nagaral. Agaracho, Bacani Agalekalu, but I'm Cafutania, Ucatel Lacho, but I'm but I'm active in Honu, Sartoy and my Nakamu, but I'm Nuku said Nabaru. I think I said she's a woman ahead of her generation, ahead of her time. Um, and who had the courage and the energy to be a pioneer successfully in many fields. She was uh, she, not afraid, no, no, fearless to be different. So she taught people uh, that. And I think uh, people were sort of cautious of approaching her because, you know, she might bite, you know. She was. Uh, she, she didn't uh, believe in this uh, diplomacy uh, between people. You know, she spoke her mind. So I think one, what one remembers is this woman who, who had immense energy and uh, pursued her goals of, of education and freedom for girls uh, all her life, really. She talked a lot about being with Nukurambas, it was short, relatively short period of time before they surrendered, but uh, they traveled throughout the country, south, southeast as well, where they ultimately surrendered. And she said, you know, I was discovering my country as it was being taken away from me. And uh, enormous regret that just now as I see its beauty, its glory, uh, they're trying to take it away from me, you know, but uh, I think this was, by far, in her view, that 
the experience had shaped Sunedu Gabro. Liguzo ta chamra wada bo kambo da kido ka kido wada na kam ta na kam ta na mu zara ko yen su store za zu bendi ta Allah ka babal no isa wasta na ga jinnat isa wudagnat isa wurrahi and bo ta sun dar ya garachin tuwat linna ta waqe sa no za guzo za I think she sees herself more as the anti-fascist as an you know as a person of the anti-fascist resistance than anything else. I think that shaped her identity. Uh, she never registered. Arbanya as a patriot. Uh, she thought one doesn't do that to register, and it's not to say anything about others who register, but of course she's now buried uh, in uh, uh, Sulasio in Tr Trinity Cathedral, reserved for patriots. I, I think it's fair to say that the invasion, the resistance, Surrender, liberation for her was uh, by far the most important, formative experience of her entire life.